it's Liz from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Okay, so today I am going to show you the, what do we call it? Festive Felt Sheet Combo Pack. Now, if you shopped with me last month, you got this as your gift. I say if you shop with me and use the host code, you got this as your gift last month, which you should by now have fingers crossed that the post works. Um, so I thought I'd show you uh, a project that I've used it for and I'm going to be using it for future projects as well. But here's an admission. <laughs> it's the first time I've used these lovely playful alphabet dies. But can you see this? It's, it's all lovely and fat and dimensional. So I'm using one of the, now what do we call these? We call them we call them we call them these gold cards and envelopes the envelopes are to die for i mean they are just stunning i thought i'd taken them out but i haven't look they're all shimmery gold and on the inside as well um and what's going to be great for me is it means i only have to do one set of dimensions because these are american sized cards so they're um uh, they do eight and a half, four and a quarter by five and a half. Four and a quarter by five and a half. Yes, four and a quarter by five and a half. Phew. Um, so that that are, that's the size that they are. Um, they are very vanilla. They're a slightly lighter cardstock than the thick, but I would say they're slightly thicker than the standard very vanilla cardstock. Um, but they, you know, they're a substantial card. You can put layers on them and they will stand up. So let me A, show you this amazing set of dies. Um, it's got a full alphabet plus some symbols. So we've got hashtags, we've got asterisks, we've got plus, um, we've got inverted commas, we've got equals. So lots of oh, question mark. I can't believe there are oh, dots, um, exclamation mark. We've got accents, we've got sedillas, all sorts. So lots and lots of amazing dies. I mean, we've even got a whatever that is that I don't use in English. Um, there are doubles of all of the vowels and some of the other letters as well. So I've got two L's for my hello. Uh, so none of this having to run things through the die, the die cutter more than once. It's brilliant. And I haven't used them. I mean, so I've used the um, foam sheet on the felt. Uh, I've got a little bit left over, which will do for some of my letters. Yep. So I will get another piece and another piece of the felt. And hopefully will those fit on? I'm sure they will because the L's can nest into each other. They will. Hurrah. OK, so um, I need to trim that out. It's actually easier to put your adhesive foam on the back and then trim it. But hey ho, I'll just trim it off and then put my adhesive on the back. I'm just seeing if I've got a better sized piece of adhesive. Uh, that might be big enough. It might just be big enough. Just. Okay, so it doesn't really matter which side you peel off first. Um, it's immaterial, really. Uh, so let me pop that on there like that and then press it down well. I'm going to get my sticky scissors, as in the ones that I use for sticky things, to trim that out. Don't need that piece and I'll trim that off as well. And there's a bit sticking out that I don't really want sticking to my die plates. Right, okay. So, the moment of truth. Let me grab my cut and emboss. Get these out of the way. One cut and emboss. And 
So face down, or sticky side down I should say, and I'm going to put them so that they're not going through flat end on, because uh, that doesn't do great things to your die cutter. I mean it, it's fine, but your die cutter will be happier if you introduce a, um, a pointed edge rather than a flat edge. Um, I always think of it as a car hitting a sleeping policeman. Um, if you go fast, full blast, straight at the sleeping policeman, your car is going to jolt. If you go slowly at a, and at a slight angle, it's not going to be so bad. OK, so I'm going to run these through two or three times because it is quite a lot to cut through, but it will go through. So one, two, three, and I might as well come back as I'm going to be taking it out this end anyway. OK. Peel those off. Get rid of my plates and now the one thing you do have to be slightly careful of is that you don't lose the backing of your letters. Let's get rid of the dies. Because for the moment we don't actually want the backing off. If there's any funny stray bits, just get rid of those. Now the H, I have found that for me the H can be a little temperamental at this point. So again, sticky scissors and I'll just get rid of the excess to start with. because it's always easier to do these things when you haven't got extra bits floating around. And this is basically because of the way felt is constructed, um, because it is, now here's a strange thing, felted. Um, it does sometimes not like the idea of um, cutting straight. So we just need to encourage it. That's one. This one is being slightly more temperamental. And two. Don't need those bits. Those go in the non-recycling bin. Same slight issue is too strong a word, but thing with our L. So I can just trim that off like that. But as a general thing, they <laughs> die cuts beautifully. And you see, on curved edges, really fine. It's the straight ones, it just doesn't like the straight so much. And then just take the die off pop that out and there we have our hello hello so scoot those over oh and one of the joys of this they've got marked where you put them back so none of this I can't fit them back onto the sticky sheet anymore they just go back where they came from and you know where that is because it tells you It's just such a clever little set and it's perfect for scrapbooking as well. Right, okay, so just to bring that in so we know what we're making, I need another card. So here we go. So I've got a piece of early espresso which is cut at three and five eighths by four and three quarters. Then I have two pieces of the um, Gilded Autumn Designer Series paper and these together measure four and a half by three and three eighths and basically what I did was cut this piece because I wanted the stripes and then I 
butted everything up against the four and uh, the three and three eighths and trimmed so that it was the right size. Um, just saying. And actually it's a tiny bit narrow. I meant to add an eighth of an inch on, but I forgot. But it's fine because we cover it up with th a three quarter inch, no, a seven eighths of an inch strip of um, mint macaron. So let me pop all this together. So some seal. So yes, if in doubt, cover up things that don't go quite according to plan. So what I will put on the measurements on my website, which you will find the link to my website uh, in the description bar below the video, um, I will put the actual measurement that you should be cutting the total piece to rather than my obscure, not quite right measurement. I think three and a half will do it, but um, who knows. And I want the crumb cake at the top, this being the bottom. So let's just line that up there. And yes, there's this little gap, but that's fine because we're going to take some liquid adhesive and just add that so I want it so that it shows the crumb cake like that and then I can just take my snips and from the back trim it off. Right, so this is the bottom. Uh, let's grab our card and pop that together and then we can stick on our hello and finish it off. It's a really nice quick project and because you've got the pre-made cards, it's really quick. You don't even have to worry about cutting card bases. And I love this Gilded Autumn paper. It's amazing. And it's got gold and copper in, which is why you can use it with the gold cards, because it's got gold in. Uh, you want to try and choose a pattern that doesn't just have copper, because that would look a bit odd. Uh, there is one with um, mint macaron um, and copper leaves. And I did try that, and it was not a good idea. I'll show you in a minute. So this literally just peels off and sticks down. Hello. But it's just such fun to have a different texture. And I think particularly for a sort of autumnal look, the, the um, felt is just perfect. And then obviously for Christmas projects, we've got the white and the red. Um, I'll check. I think it's, I want to say it's real red rather than Poppy Parade, but I could be wrong. No, that's real red. Um, so yeah, great for Christmas projects as well. And then Just Jade as your greeny blue. And I've seen someone who has actually coloured the white with um, re-inker and a spray. So that O oh, doesn't look terribly square. No, it's fine. Right, I've got some of the wonderful gems, which are beautifully named. I still have this thing that these are wonderful gems and the blue adhesive, self-adhesive gems are blue self-adhesive gems which just, I don't know, it just doesn't make them sound so posh. Blue adhesive back gems. They're gorgeous. Just needed a more, you know, a more fitting name somehow. Uh, 
There we go, just three of those. And fold our card, grab our bone folder. And as if by magic, we have another beautiful card. Now, this is the pattern that I don't think does work with the, um, the card base because it's a it's a bit it's not white but it's a bit sort of white and it's definitely copper but all the other ones perfect so there you go i hope you like that if you did please give it a thumbs up i mean 15 minutes including die cutting Woof. anyway thank you very much indeed for watching don't forget to subscribe before you go questions or comments below the description bar and as ever, the link to my website with more photographs, more information is in the description bar below the video. Thank you very much indeed. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.